It will be a brave person to bet against Davy Todd taking the honours in this open race. The superbikes and the super stock machines out on track. And it's great to see that we have a list certainly with no non-starters, certainly in the first two waves anyway. Davy Todd in pole position, Phil Crow alongside him, so too Paul Jordan. Row two, Dominic Herbertson and Jamie Coward with Mike Brown, Michael Sweeney and Connor Cummins on row number three. Can anyone take the fight to Davy Todd? Here we go. Connor Cummins just to the back of this picture as well. As Davy Todd already sprints out into an early lead. He is odds on favourite for this one. Second wave gets away. Number 23. That's Marcus Simpson. Into Robert's Connor Herbertson up the inside, perhaps taking the inside line. Certainly different lines going in. Looking back from Michael Sweeney. Certainly a couple of lines going into Robbo's, but only one line around it, really. Let's watch the start again. Looking back from Dominic Herbertson. As we just see Michael Sweeney filling the picture. Good start from Connor Cummins. He's not been here for 11 years, remember? Oh, just gets a little bit tight, but just managed to get ahead of Paul Jordan. It was a squeeze through there. Blue Church bends, Davy Todd pulling away. Bill Crow into second position. Jamie Coward's also up there. So too Dominic Herbertson. Michael Sweeney. There goes Herbertson past Sweeney. Great to see Michael Sweeney racing again. Oh, Davy Todd flying. They ride the waves down into Bellaney Cross. And you just know that Davy Todd under that helmet has a broad smile across his face. Back with Dominic Herbertson. That was a great move to go past Michael Sweeney and move up into fourth position. So across the line they go. Todd from Crow, from Coward, Herbertson. Looks like Sweeney in fifth, Connor Cummins in sixth position. 2.6 the advantage for Todd at the end of lap one. Already gaps between the front runners here and Omoy. The biggest gap seems to be between Todd in first and Crow in second. Conditions perfect here now at Armoy after the rain and drizzle of yesterday. Such grace, such style, such power from Todd through Church Benz. Oof. Well, you just cannot get tired of watching Davy Todd round Armoy or any of these riders for that fact. I hope some of them have taken seasickness pills. My goodness. Wes Herbertson, Sweeney, Connor Cummins on that Superstock FHO BMW. From what I gather, it hasn't uh, been raced before this weekend. But uh, great to see Connor Cummins back. And Connor is now seeing Mike Brown's back as Brown goes through and moves up a position to go past Connor Cummins. And that gap at the end of lap two, 4.6 seconds. So Todd, two seconds faster than the man on screen at the moment, Phil Crow. It's not all about Davy Todd, of course. Plenty of racing elsewhere down the field as Matt Stevenson moves up a position at the expense of Ryan Whitehall. It just, it's incredible every time just seeing Davy Todd take to the air. I don't know whether the wings on the front of the bike are having any effect on that as well.
Here's Connor Cummins, though. And he's got Paul Jordan just behind him. Paul Jordan looking to go the long way around at Bellini Cross. If there is such a thing as the long way around. But Todd across the line again. Extending that lead out in front. Phil Crow, a very solid second place ahead of Jamie Coward. It's game one for fourth between Herbertson and Sweeney. Brown trying to get involved as well. Connor Cummins would like a piece of that as well. So we're at the halfway point in this race. And that gap this time around, seven seconds between Todd and Phil Crow. Oh, no, 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 Mike Brown just too hot into the turn. He's recovered it superbly, it has to be said. But Mike Brown just too hot coming into Robbo's. Paul Jordan's passed Connor Cummins, by the way. I don't know whether Connor was reacting to Mike Brown. But we're riding with Davey Todd. Here we go on the BMW. Just watch this. <laughs> Feet on the pegs. Front wheel in the air. Moving that back wheel around. Yeah, Davy Todd's having a great time here at Armoy this weekend. So too the fans who've turned up today. And many will be disappointed. There's no Michael Dunlop here, of course. However, Davy Todd is putting on a display that they'll remember for a mighty long time to come. So too many of these other riders. The Connor Cummins. Great to see him back racing again. Really good to see him back racing again, in fact. He's learning his way around Armoy again and also his way around on a new machine to him. Still no change in the order. The end of that lap as they begin lap number five. Jamie Coward still in third place on the Honda behind Phil Crow. Maybe not a mistake this time by Crow. He manages to hang on to second place. However, it's game on for second place now. And Coward is going to take full advantage. You would see him. Oh, no. Crow just manages to squirt it back on as they power down towards Church Benz. But uh, for a moment there, it looked as if Phil Crow had given up second place. Maybe a lack of concentration, maybe just trying to break a little bit later in his quest to try and reduce that gap at the front. The impossible task to Davy Todd, it would seem. But he's now made a real game of it between himself and Jamie Coward for second place, and Coward will be encouraged having seen Phil Crow make that mistake. These roads, of course, made legendary by the likes of Joey Dunlop, the Armoy Armada back in the day. They used to come and race their machines. Well, not race, they used to come and test their machines on these roads. If you ever get to see the, the film The Road Races, fantastic piece of Irish history. And uh, in a way, lived on this weekend here with the Armoy Race of Legends. Still plenty to play for. Phil Crow has a rider ahead of him. And they uh, managed to get both managed to get past him. But Todd continues to lead. He's the only rider to lap inside 1 minute 40 so far. Everyone else is really in the 142s, the 43s. The slow rider at the back just uh, managing to stay out of the way of Dominic Herbertson. So Todd leads from Phil Crow, Jamie Coward in third, Herbertson, Sweeney, Brown, Jordan, Cummins, Sam West leading the second wave of riders. Maybe Todd in amongst the third wave now. Just picking his moment. They must get an almighty shock when Davy Todd comes flying past. Well, Phil Crow, despite that earlier misdemeanor, still hanging on to second place from Jamie Coward in third. Just uh, no blue flags, of course, to warn Dennis Booth that the 
First wave riders are coming through. Jamie Coward certainly fancies second place, doesn't he? However, Phil Crow just on the power, certainly carrying the speed through that turn at Kennedy's. Dominic Herbertson still holding on to fourth position as well. Michael Sweeney behind him, Mike Brown, Paul Jordan, Connor Cummins. Davy Todd with a very handsome advantage. Around 15 seconds, the gap now back to Phil Crow. So having broken the lap record, Davy Todd looks as if he's going to take a race victory here at Armoy started as I said at the beginning of this race the red hot favorite and certainly he's having a great season the southern hundred champion of course the Art of Man senior TT winner on the British circuits he's leading the national superstock championship it is certainly turning out to be a year to remember for Todd and we've still of course got the Armoy race of legends to come later on And you wouldn't bet against him doing the double on the superbikes here at Omoy. My goodness. You just hope really that uh, one of the third wave riders... Oh, my goodness me, Phil Crow just finding the gap to go through. I was going to suggest maybe you don't want them influencing who finishes second and who finishes third. That was Don McFadden. Here comes Todd to cross the line in first place. What a result, what a performance, and a stoppy, a customary stoppy as well from Mr. Todd. It will be Phil Crow in second from Jamie Coward. Mike Brown fighting and trying to take the position, but not quite uh, snatching it from Michael Sweeney at the chequered flag. Congratulations, Davy Todd. I think to say he and the fans thoroughly enjoyed that one. Confirmation of the results then. Mike Brown in sixth, just behind Sweeney. Dominic Herbertson fourth, Jamie Carroll third, Phil Crow second, and Davy Todd, the race winner.